What's going on YouTube? My name is Deli and I'm bringing you guys another YouTube video. We're back for more Destiny for you guys. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Bungie Weekly update that released about a little over an hour ago. And it is some hype. There is some hype in this. Oh my goodness. There is some definitely big news here. Probably one of the biggest updates in a while. And it is going to be crazy. So, first off for you guys, this is probably one of the biggest points in the weekly update right here. It is about the Shadow Shot glitch and what Bungie plans on doing with it. So if you guys didn't know about the Shadow Shot glitch, it's pretty much a Hunter Night Stalker with a Graviton Forfeit could pretty much use unlimited bows. Yes, unlimited Night Stalker bows and kill enemies consistently or just tether things together, which is completely overpowered and it's just completely been breaking the game recently. And Bungie has responded with this word for word i'll be reading from the bungee website and i quote we're going to disable that bug before we invite you to take your next run at nine and zero. we're also working on a final fix for the bug itself as soon as possible as soon as we have made a solid commitment for brother vance we'll make a four-wheel announcement on when trials of osiris will begin again we hope that most of you realize the impact a limitless night stalker would have on the competitive landscape we thank you thanks for your patience Think about that. So, Trials of Osiris has been canceled this week. There will be no Trials of Osiris, pretty much, because you kind of have to understand with it, if there was some guy using unlimited bows, it's going to be pretty bad, and no one's going to like to see that at all. It's going to be really annoying, and no one wants to see that. It's just like, unlimited bows would be just game-breaking. It would not make it fun at all. People would be just feeling cheated out of their 9 0s It makes Night Stalkers just too OP, and Bungie realized that as well. Unlimited bows would break the game, and it's definitely the right decision to not have a Trials of Osiris this week, just because having the game like not have a Trials for a few weeks definitely brought the hype around it, and having the first week of Trials of Osiris come back be broken by this thing that like has all this annoying like annoying crap with it like all this shooting bows consistently just having it come back with that to be like such a bad taste in everyone's mouth everyone's gonna have like a sour taste with trials like nobody would like it it would just be really annoying so i understand it completely they want the first week of trials to be a hype week and also a competitive week which also a fair week because of that would not be a fair week at all unlimited bows that would not be cool at all so on that note Pretty much, no travels of Osiris this week. The Shadow Shot glitch will be fixed. But the second piece of news I have is probably the biggest news we have heard in a minute. It comes with some crazy stuff. So, I'll just read the first part for you guys. And I quote from Bungie. They said, Originally, we planned to introduce King's Falls hard mode on October 30th. But the raid team is ready to go. And we decided to launch a little bit early. King's Fall raid hard mode. Friday, October 23rd, 10 a.m. Pacific. Yes, you heard it here first, guys. King's Fall Raid, hard mode, Friday, October 23rd, 10 a.m. Pacific time. It has been announced, so not tomorrow, but next Friday, King's Fall will be having its hard mode, and it is going to be crazy. They've announced it finally. Everyone was wondering when hard mode was coming. Some people were predicting at the end of this month, or next month, or something like that, sometime in between that time frame, but Bungie's decided this well, next Friday, October 23rd, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Mark that date on your calendar. Get your World First teams ready because it is going to be epic. The hard mode is coming out. It is going to be crazy. The hard mode, everyone's been anticipating it and some more stuff into it. Here's another, uh, here's the rest of the what Bungie had to say about it in the weekly update. They say, and I quote, Right about now, some of you are wondering what you can do to prepare. We won't give you hints, but we'll plot the difficulty incline. Recommended life for your hard mode is 300 to 320. The loot that will drop will be between 310 to 320. Gear up and mark your calendars. Before the race for World First begins, we'll share some insights from the raid design team that's about to bring the real pain. Yes, you heard it. They'll be dropping... So you're going to want to be around 300 to 320 light, probably to be safe. You're going to want to be, well, since you can't be 320 and 310 is like the max, you want to be probably around 305 to 310. That's probably the safest point for you guys to be in, at least in my opinion. So 305 to 310 is probably where you're going to want to be. If not, then just get yourself as high as you can before you try to make your first attempt at it. But the hype part about this is that the gear that we'll be dropping is 310 to 320. Think about that. So that means the gear that you'll be getting from the game will be 310 to 320, which means no matter what you get, no matter what drops, if you're getting a piece of gear, you're getting an upgrade. Or if not, you're just having like, it's not, it will be anything. It will be equal to or better what you already have. That is crazy. So think about that, guys. 
King's Fall Raid hard mode, but you have to imagine that if you're going to be dropping 310 to 320 gear, you have to imagine that it's going to be a bit of a challenge. That War Priest and th that relay part, like all that stuff in between, it's going to be crazy, and I can't even imagine Oryx. Prayers out to the World First teams. Best of luck to you guys. I really hope you guys do enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy watching it. I don't plan on doing World First myself. I'm not ready for that yet, but I am going to enjoy watching some World First attempts because I am interested. I always do enjoy watching those. So they're definitely a lot of fun. But think about that, guys. King's Fall Raid Hard Mode is coming. Just wait. I know everyone's been asking for it. It's been hyped up, and it's going to be crazy. I want to see how all these new raid weapons are going to work out. Definitely, prob I'm going to have to say that raid weapons are going to be the guns you want to use in this. You're probably going to want to be using your scout rifles, your pulse rifles, whatever, raid primaries, secondaries, and heavy weapons probably. Just because the Cocoon perk where you can do consistent DPS is definitely very useful. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about Touch of Malice on this. I will say it will probably be a, a pretty good weapon to use on the parts of the raid where you don't take any damage when you're shooting bosses. But other than that, I'm not sure how it will work out because I would want to keep my health. Especially because since it is hard mode, you're not going to be able to get the revive, which means your life is very, very important now. It definitely becomes very more, a lot more important where you feel like when you make a small mistake on Oryx and you're, you fail the entire part... And that one person dies and just messes it all up. Now you really have to have almost flawless runs. You literally have to have perfect runs to make it work. And that is pretty crazy. So I cannot wait. Definitely this has been one of the biggest announcements, announcements for a weekly update for sure. Hopefully we get to see what Bungie meant when they said that they're going to be showing some stuff from the raid design team. I can't wait to watch that. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. That is pretty much all I had to say. Two big points. So in conclusion, we have no Trials of Osiris this week. Shadow Shot Glitch has been addressed and it will be fixed. And King's Fall Raid Hard Mode Friday, October 23rd, 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Yes, 10 a.m. Pacific Time. That means if you're on the East Coast, that is 1 p.m. for you. So I cannot wait. It is going to be hype and it is going to be fun for sure. I can't wait to get a chance to jump in there and get my crack at Oryx on hard mode. But once again, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. Hope you guys are going to have fun playing some of that hard mode next week. And until next time, YouTube, I'm going to catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Have a great night. Peace.